of seven from Philadelphia, but the Sixers at home lead it at the half, and only one guy has double figures, and that is Joel Embiid, who connects there for three of his 11 in the first half. It's the American Express Halftime Report from Studio J here in Atlanta. Ernie Johnson, Shaq, Charles, and back from his daughter's graduation. Yes, Monique. Uh, Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Congratulations, Congratulations to Monique. Years. She graduated a double major, uh -huh. psych and Mandarin. Oh, small world. Yes, and was cum laude. That's right. You know what cum laude is. That didn't make any sense. What what is, did, that went right over your head, small world? Small world. Like I had I, also I, done I, the same so thing. I'm my bad. Jeez. What's cum laude? Well, with it, honors. It, with honors. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Well, I think the people who did my homework graduated with honors. <laughs> <laughs> you better hope they did. Uh, well, Monique, well, congrats. Hey, it worked Monique. out good for both of us. Uh, yeah. Congrats. Hey, hey, and listen. No, just people hey, who did your homework. Let me tell you something. Ernie. And let's be honest, it probably worked out better for me in the long run. Yeah, you're probably right. She should have been doing my, my, I should have been doing her homework. Hey, what do you say we go to the American Express teammates? <laughs> um, <laughs> and tonight we featured Ben Simmons and TJ McConnell. Wow. I mean, that was the big change going into game four of this series. Sixers down 3 nothing, make a change in the starting lineup. But somebody had a heart attack Robert in the game Co of Band-Aid? Robert Covington is out and TJ McConnell into the starting You heard lineup. me, Ernie. When you're having a heart attack, I don't think a Band-Aid going to help. Or <laughs> I was going to ask what you thought of Brett Brown's move there. I don't think anything about that. I think the Sixers going home tonight. <laughs> well, T.J. McConnell is on the mind of Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, he reminds me of a player I played with, and I think Kenny played against, a guy by the name of Chris Corciani. North Carolina yeah, State. North Carolina, Carolina State. State. Undersized guy, but always makes the right play. Right there. That's Chris Cordiani is rolling over right now. You know, he just, you know, he always makes the right play. He's always hustling right here. You know, he's the type of kid, he's not going to quit. He's not making a lot of money, but he's taking advantage of this opportunity in Philadelphia, trying to keep this crowd in the game, trying to keep this season alive. He always makes the right play. Right there, follows the shot. You know, you're not going to get a lot of points from him, but he will hustle. He will make the right play. And the crowd is into the game so far, and hopefully it could, uh, you know, help them win. But I agree with Chuck. I think they're going home tonight, too. One, one reason the crowd got into it and kind of woke them up late in the half was this uh, meant so important. He didn't need the pictures. I, am, I am rooting for a sweep because it will be the best thing for basketball in Philadelphia if they get swept. Because I really believe that if they would have that win this series or extend it, that Embiid and Ben Simmons would think that they're better than they are. They are really good players. But the fact that you go home in the summer swept realizes and it shows all the holes that you have. And your workouts intensify dramatically. And I, I'm sure Shaq at one point in his career had that happen. Charles, all of us, and even from a high level to a mid-level player, always felt that when you, your holes got exposed, your summer was going to be different. Their summer has changed. They were going on yachts and mansions. They are in the gym now. They know that they have the holes. I hope they get swept because I want to see those two guys be the best players in basketball at some point. And at the rate they are, and we all thought because they were playing well that it was possible, but now we know they're not. And we know that they know now and they have that would be the best thing for Philly basketball. Well, I'm gonna disagree with you a little bit because I think those are two different animals. Jalen Embiid has played well. I think this has been a wake up call for Ben Simmons. You know, uh, living in Philly, watching, you can, you can. So you take one, not the other. No, no. Okay. No, both. M M M no, no. Embiid's going to get better. He just got to get in better shape. He's gonna practice more. He's gonna play back to back. But this has been an eye opening experience for Ben because he could get away. Plan like that against Miami. But Brad Stevens has a game plan, and Ben is going to get in the gym, shoot a thousand jump shots a day, shoot a thousand. He would have shot 500 if they yeah, would have yeah. went to the Eastern uh, Conference. But, 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 now he's shooting a thousand. But, you know, Kobe Bryant uh, said something. He said, Ben's going to have to remake his jump shot because he can't shoot a lick. Hmm. He, and he's a hell of a player. Uh, but this is. What's breaking in here? Some ice coming don't, in the door. Don't worry about it. It's just a creaking something. Oh, sorry. Or it's not haunted or anything oh, like that. Oh. Oh, could have been the ghost of Victor Oladipo. Oh, oh, uh, could have been Kenny Walker. Who, who was the last guy to run to the board? Well, it could have been uh, Kenny Walker to the Which screen. happened last I, night. I think that was so inappropriate of Victor to make fun of you, Kenny. That's all right. It was funny, yeah, though. Come on, too, Kenny. All right. That's okay, Vic. I, you know, Vic and I go way back. I don't know if you guys know that, but I could imitate LeBron. Oh! <laughs> oh. I could see you. 
I could have take LeBron and go at you, Vic. You want to stop? Don't come at me. I, I I'll knew, get some powder out here. I knew when you were flying in, you said, oh, I'm just going to have a little something for Victor to, uh, to let him know he was watching the other night. <laughs> it is 47 to 43 at the break. Charles. That's <laughs> 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 oh, funny. That is funny. Hey, Francis, that's Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean. I like that one. Uh, Does that work, Charles? Welcome.